Dylan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Winter Wonderland on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you'd like to learn. And guys, before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons for voting on this song for this month's patron picks. If you want a little bit of voting power in the tutorials that you see here on my channel, make sure to check out my Patreon page, which is linked down below. So this song is going to be pretty beginner friendly if you are new to guitar and trying to find something to perform for the holidays. Um, but I am going to classify it as a beginner slash intermediate just because there is a bar chord in here. However, in the chord section, I will show you an alternative fingering for it so that you don't have to play any bar chords. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the overview. So I have my guitar in standard tuning and today I will not be using a capo. Now Winter Wonderland is one of those songs that I feel like is a pretty, you know, Christmas or holiday classic. It's been covered by so many artists throughout the year so you can really kind of just make it your own. So what I'm going to show you today is just the chords that you can use and the strumming that you can use to play it on the guitar and then you can kind of just experiment with it on your own to kind of make it your own. So today I will not be using a capo just to make it easier easier to teach. Of course, I would suggest to go ahead and experiment with that on your own so that you can see what key, you know, you're most comfortable singing in and things like that. Um, with that being said, we also have 10 chords to play through this song. Like I said, one of them is a bar chord, which is our F major chord, but like I said in the chord section, I will show you an alternate fingering so you don't have to bar any chords to play through the entire song. And um, I wanted to show you two strumming patterns that you can use to play through the entire song. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the chord. <laughs> So I've zoomed in so we can take a closer look at these chords. Like I said, there are 10, but we have a few that are kind of optional. So let's go ahead and start with C chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Now this next chord is our G7 chord, and this is one of our optional chords. But first, let's go ahead and try to play it. It looks like this and it sounds like this. Now, if this is kind of hard for you to play, you can always replace that with your regular G chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right. um, then we have our F chord, which is going to be a bar chord. So that looks like this and sounds like this. Now this is the only bar chord in the whole song, so if bar chords are something that you're struggling with, you can do an alternate fingering, which looks like this and sounds like this. So if you're you know, in the stage where you're avoiding bar chords, you can definitely play the F instead. After that, we've got our E minor chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next we have our D minor chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we have our A minor chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. Then we've got our E chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that, we've got our A chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the last chord you need to know is our D7 chord, which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, and those are all the chords you need to know to play through this song. 
All right, guys, so after you have those chords memorized, go ahead and take a few moments to practice transitioning between them. This song does move pretty quickly, so those transitions are really gonna be key in order for you to kind of play it a little more smoothly. If that's something you need help with, I have a tutorial right here that talks about how to chord transition and how to do that a little bit faster and techniques and practice and things like that. So check that out if you need to. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into these strumming patterns that I wanna show you for this song. other tutorials, I do always like to start with a practice pattern, which as you can see is just one simple down strum on the B for every chord change. This is really great for beginners who are getting used to singing and playing at the same time to get to know where you're going to be expected to do those chord changes while you're singing the song. So if you're new to guitar, this is what I would suggest starting with. All we want to do is one simple down strum on the B. So let's go ahead and put our C chord on since that's the first chord in the song. You're just going to strum down once. Then you go to your next chord, G7, or G if you want to not play the 7 part. <laughs> and then uh, we have G, F, E minor, D minor, A minor, G7, and C. So like I said, this song does have those transitions move pretty quickly, but the purpose of this one downstream pattern is just for you to get used to where those transitions actually occur. So let's go ahead and put some singing in this and I will show you what I mean. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening, a beautiful sun. You can already tell just from the one down strum that there are several spots in this song where we're going to be going with those transitions a little bit faster and then other spots where we're going to be holding one chord out. So I have different strumming patterns to show you depending on which chord you're on. So let's go ahead and jump into the first one, which is strumming pattern one. So strumming pattern one is going to be the one that you can use throughout most of the song. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, and it's going to sound a little something like this. All right, down, down, up, up, down, up. So here it is a few times. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, awesome. So that is the rhythm, and like I said, it can be applied for the majority of the song, except for when the chords are moving a little bit faster. Um, but for the beginnings of all the verses, this will work out really well. So let me go ahead and just put some chords to it to show you. We have our C chord on. We're gonna just play through this pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. All right, and here we're gonna hold it twice. Down, down, up, up, down. Then you go to your next chord, G7, and we're going to do it twice again. Down, down, up, up, down, up twice. All right. So like I said, anywhere where you're holding the chord for you know more than one measure, that's where you're going to be using this strumming pattern. So with our C chord, we've got down, down, up, up, down, up twice. the chord transitions are going to be much faster so that's where I want to show you is strumming pattern two and as you can see strumming pattern two is very similar to strumming pattern one but we're just cutting it in half so it's just down down up so it's the first part of strumming pattern one and we're just cutting off the little tail there and the reason we're gonna cut this in half is because these chord transitions are gonna go twice as fast here okay so with our G chord on we're gonna go down down up then you go to your F chord E minor, D minor, A minor, G7, and then you end on C and go back to strumming pattern one. Down, down, up, up, down. All right, 
right, so let's just revisit that again. So for all of these chords that are going pretty quickly, we're just doing a simple down, down, up. Down, down. That's the whole pattern. Down, down. All right? So for example, we've got G, F, but basically anywhere in the song that you're holding for more than one measure you're going to be doing strumming pattern one which is down down up up down up and then anywhere where those chord transitions are happening a little bit more quickly you're just going to do strumming pattern two which is the first half of strumming pattern one which is just down down up I will have all of this listed as we play through the song together, so no worries there. Um, but with that being said, I think you know everything you need to know to play through this song. So let's go ahead and jump into the playthrough. This is Winter Wonderland and Good Luck. actually pretty high for my range so again make sure to experiment with that capo to pick a key that suits your vocal range um, but thanks so much for watching that does conclude this tutorial for how to play winter wonderland on the guitar um, before I go I just want to say thank you and give a shout out to journey instruments for providing me with this awesome collapsible guitar so it's a travel guitar that you can actually fold in half and put in a backpack store away take with you wherever you're traveling to the over the holidays so if this is something that you're interested in maybe purchasing for a musician or a guitar lover or just a music lover in your life then make sure to check out the link that I will put in the description box that is an affiliate link that I have with Journey Instruments but again thanks to them for letting me use this guitar in this tutorial and another huge shout out to my patrons for voting for this song as a tutorial for my channel and uh, with that being said thank you so much for watching I hope you have fun jamming along to this and happy holidays bye